Well, it's the news no family wants to hear. You have cancer. It's aggressive, and we should have seen it sooner. In a Marine Corps veteran Eric Olson's case, they would have seen it sooner if the Indiana VA didn't drop the ball. According to Olson's family, he'd been complaining of pain for months, and the VA got it wrong. Here to share her family's story is Eric's wife, Erin, uh, who is also a Marine Corps veteran. Erin, nice to see you this morning. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, we're sorry that what your family is going through. For those of our audience not familiar with your husband's story, take us back to when he started to feel those symptoms back um, just a few, uh, back in July. What was he feeling and, and what were you told? Sure. Um, he was in a, you know, a little bit of pain at that time and he had a strange lump that was in his groin area. And um, he went to our local VA clinic and complained of the pain. At that time he thought, you know, maybe I have a hernia or something like that. Not in our wildest dreams would we imagine being here, but um, the doctor didn't do any scans, didn't do any blood tests, uh, you know, kind of looked at him and said, you're having muscle spasms. And so that's kind of where it all started. Um, it's really spiraled downhill from there. Yeah, and then Labor Day weekend was admitted to a hospital with severe swelling, and then of course it has a life-threatening blood clot. How is he doing this morning? Um, well, we got a diagnosis yesterday. Um, he had surgery and they went in and he had a very large, rapidly growing, um, uh, aggressive, cancerous tumor um, that they found in his pelvic area. And wow. uh, we are unsure right now. Um, there's pretty much two possibilities. It's either lymphoma or sarcoma um, and uh, most likely being the latter. Mm. So let's go back to when he was first starting to feel these symptoms. Why do you think the VA just sort of passed it off as spasms? The criticism, of course, about the VA being backlogged. They simply don't have time to see the patients. The patients are not being afforded the care that they're, that they're needed. Do you think that that falls under that category? No, I, I really don't think that it does fall under that category. You know, I have no idea why this could have happened and uh, why it did happen. And, you know, looking back, I, I don't... I don't know why, but I'm really trying to move forward here, and um, you know, Eric and I are really hopeful. Um, you know, we feel that he's in a really good place right now at IU Medical Center, and we're just really hoping for the best in the future. What have you told the VA? Have you had an opportunity to speak with him? I did. I went to a town hall meeting last week. Um, I don't remember the evening, maybe Tuesday or the, in this past week, and um, I was able to speak with. Um, some VA representatives there and, and share my concerns and share my story that, you know, the VA has other issues besides wait times. And, um, you know, this is a very unfortunate circumstance. But, you know, I want people to know, too, that we're really thankful that we have these services and we're really thankful that, um, you know, these, these services are provided to veterans, such as my husband and I. And, um, you know, this is a really unfortunate event. You wanted to speak out why you, you thought, well, if we can just help one other person, right, get the care Absolutely. that they need. Right. Absolutely. So, um, you know, we really um, got a lot of help from our congresswoman, Jackie, Jackie Walorski, um, in the northern Indiana area. And uh, she really, um, you know, took this to heart and she went yeah. to bat for us and fought for us. And, uh, you know, we want to thank uh, VA Secretary McDonald as well because, you know, he made sure that Eric got to where he needed to be to get the care that, that um, is really necessary at this time. Aaron Olson, well, we thank you for your family's sacrifice for this nation, and we're pulling for your husband. Thank you so much.